Paweł Trela, Hogert Technik Brand Ambassador, a licensed rally driver and Polish Drift Champion, a constructor and a lecturer at university. On a daily basis he runs a company that prepares cars for motorsport, where he also participates actively in the process of designing and creating vehicles specially designed for competition. His most famous design is Maybach, the only drifting Opel GT in Europe, with which he takes part in the competition. Paweł Trela is also a consultant for Hogger Technik brand in the field of designing and testing new products. Cooperating with the brand he builds its credibility and he also co-creates its image and supports communication. Hello, today we have rear differentials on the table, next very important element of the drivetrain. We will show you what I drive now, what I used to drive, and we will also talk about various limited slip differentials and their use in sports cars and everyday driving. We start with the OEM differential. In this form, such a diff occurs in 99% of rear-wheel drive cars, but of course also in front-wheel drive cars. However, there is also a different housing because these elements, that is, differential case, ring gear and pinion shaft, are simply found in a gearbox. How does it work? Here we have two pieces of axle, left, right. Here, as you can see, these pinions in the middle, they are just spinning. Everything is loose here, so that the car behaves relatively neutral when cornering. This is how it looks. Only when we add engine torque here, it spins one way. However, of course, it is undesirable in sport. Therefore, we have other solutions. The cheapest and the simplest budget way to lock rear differential is the so-called Electro-LSD. So these pinions that we have here are welded to the differential case assembly, so to this housing. Additionally, they are welded to each other and now I'm not able to turn one side gear against the other. It spins together, so it is 100% locked. The advantages are that even if one wheel is up, the car will continue driving because the torque is evenly distributed between both wheels. So even just the one, which is standing on the ground, will simply move the car and it is cool. Of course, we have less, let's say, hardcore solutions, so LSD using clutch plates and, for example, torsen. Torsen and LSD, both mechanisms, can be actually found in stock cars. Both mechanisms are used in motorsport, and in fact, both of these solutions can be purchased for most cars. We cannot lock torsen LSD as tight as plate LSD. The cool thing is that when it is completely unfastened, it works like an ordinary open diff in our stock car. During some sport driving, it all begins to block. Plate limited slip differential offers many more possibilities, its settings, how much it should tighten, whether it should only tighten when accelerating the car, or it should only tighten when braking, whether it should tighten, let's say, one to one or one to two. We will disassemble it and show you what is inside. The plate limited slip differential, the most popular in motorsport, as the name suggests, has plates in it. There are quite a lot of them. Every other plate has teeth on the outside, which is as if tied to the case and every other plate is fastened to the side gear as it has teeth from the inside. And the whole thing is that the last two washers are the cone springs, so they squeeze that all. Here is oil, it involves friction between these plates. We can add more plates to make it squeeze tighter. It all depends on our preferences and on the car. What traction it has and what traction we want to have. We can set up all of these and what is more, we can also set up whether this limited slip differential is just to keep for accelerating the car or to keep for braking. Here we have such an angular undercut and now, depending on whether the undercut is just angular or straight, it causes that when this pinion cross shaft pushes, let's say, into the pressure ring, 
It affects the plates more, and it is all tight and much stronger. And now the icing on the cake, some my winter's dish. The solution that came to us from the United States, and that is actually very popular when it comes to off-road rallies, drifting, 400-meter races, things like that. But also when it comes to racing in very strong cars. The whole business is that this diff is very durable. One of its main advantages, of course, apart from durability, although it is huge, it is not very heavy, comparing to, for example, this diff, because the housing is aluminium, so it is cool. However, the whole clue is that in this diff we can change the gear ratios with impunity. I will show you this in a moment. Normally, such operations during a competition takes, let's say, about a minute. We do not have to drain or add oil, because here this case with this ratio at the back seems to be separate. So literally, a glass of oil will run out. Then refilling it from the top will really take a few seconds. Of course, we screw it not by hand, but with a pneumatic key or some electric key to make it faster. Well, a little bit is out and we have two gear wheels. Here in this cover, there are bearings that support these two pinions. We have two wheels, and we can swap them. And we have a completely different gear ratio. We put the cover back on, we can add a little oil eventually, and we can drive further. So, really great solution. All wheels have their numbers stamped, teeth counted. Here we have 28 teeth. Here we have 27 teeth. It is easy to calculate. We get the whole diagram with such a differential, a note with the gear ratios which we have available. We are about to dismantle it further. As a curiosity, you probably wonder what it is. This is the spacer to my half shaft. Previously I had a diff from Nissan 350Z, which was just wider, this one is narrower, therefore it was necessary to add such spaces to have the same half shafts. It makes no sense to modify everything, so we carry such item. It is of course empty inside, so it does not weigh too much, but it is. This div did not really drive much. It is less than half a year altogether, so quite new. You can see some discoloration in oil, but it's all because it just needs to get a run in. Or maybe some lubricants on which everything is put together, this spline and so on, will color the oil. We can see that there are no teeth defects. If I remember correctly, it was quiet and tense, nice and smooth. So we will put it back together, fill it with fresh oil, and we can safely continue using it. 